Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our blind let's play of the Curious Cut of Man of Madon. We are Alex in the Cargo Hold 1 here. Having a lot of fun with this uh, playthrough, especially seeing things from different points of view. It's been pretty fascinating so far. Especially when we saw Brad and Fliss in that last scene. And here is Olsen. So last time I think we were Julia in this part. Yeah, we were. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, get off me. Um, yeah. I think I know who that is, but even if I know who that is, that's not a good guy. Trip him up. Don't come get to Julia. Uh, whoa, 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 that's like impossible, game. I mean, come on. There ain't no way I would have been able to get to that. Oh, he actually saved Julia's life. Maybe he's not such a dirtbag after all. Okay, I don't want to drown him. Stop! Stop! I don't want to drown him. That's the cool thing about the courier to cut is you see things and you understand them better than the uh, theatrical cut. The theatrical cut hides things, you know, from you. What? You? You okay? Where did he go? Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! <gasps> well, that's where he went. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. So is that the same guy or is that his friend? Now Fliss is running. That was cool though. I like I said, I really am digging this change in perspective. It is so cool. Fliss. Conrad, I think the guys you hired are taking a little too far, maybe, and don't be cheap. Oh, awesome. This is when uh Conrad is So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys. I'm with you. Conrad is going at that woman. Shoot, I missed. I wasn't expecting that. Conrad! Conrad, hey, it's me. Conrad, the fuck was that? Hey, where's he going? Oh, oh ho ho! That is clever. That's why it's pretty dangerous because I don't know how this is gonna end up. It's a bunch of shinies like right here. Water purification. Huh. 
Headed to San Francisco? International Bill of Landing. Shipper, classified. Carrier, U.S. Army. Consignor, classified. Consigni, Purple Hicks. Origin, Water Purification Plant, Manchuria. Port of Landing, Harbor Market. Manchuria Port, South China Sea. Port Disposal, Bernard's Port. Naval Shipyard, San Francisco, USA. Contents, Manchurian Gold. Yep. The coasting need certifies that the items received have been inspected and are regarded as safe for transportation to the port of discharge stated. The items are not contraband and are legally allowed to enter the, co the destination county country in compliance with the country's customs laws. All items will be correctly stowed and labeled in accordance with the shipping vessel's own safety regulations and noted in the cargo manifest for the shipping vessel in accordance with international cargo law. Is it open? Nope. Just can't open this thing by myself. Huh. Interesting. Let's see here. United States Army Military Police Report Number. Um. I was alerted by kitchen staff to investigate ratty behavior on the mess hall at approximately 0105. I arrived at the mess hall a moment later and found an excited crowd cheering and goading two men in the center. I dispersed the crowd and made my way through to investigate. Approaching the center of the crowd, I found PFC Brand lying on the ground with blood on his face and clothing and PFC Wagner standing over him with bloody fists. I approached the two men. Wagner turned towards me and attempted to attack myself and Brand. Some members of the crowd assisted me in restraining Wagner and I arrested him at the scene. Is currently in the custody of Sergeant Wood, PTO. Neither party has prior offenses. Neither party appeared to have consumed any alcohol. Witnesses at the scene say that the two parties are friends, and this behavior is very uncharacteristic. This report has been kept brief as I have been called to investigate more violent behavior elsewhere on board at 0130. A full investigation will be carried out in due course. So slowly the crew is starting to go mad and turning on each other. The story of this game is just so good. I mean, it, 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 it almost makes me sad to know that this is just a, uh, uh, th this game was just, you know, a shortened game. Um, imagine if this game was as long as Until Dawn and had more time to really tell that story. Although, would it have helped? I mean, do you need a longer story to be a better story? I don't know. I, I think... I think this game did really, really well for what it was trying to do, and what it was trying to do was amazing. Walt, it's your turn to have dinner with William tonight. I feel for him. Last night, he got drunk again and just kept talking about his wife. Poor sod. He's taking it all on himself. It's difficult, but I think he needs the senior officers around him right now. Okay for 8 p.m.? Regards, Tom. Nothing on the back. So creepy because the music is, like, really, really soft right now. It's almost inaudible. Huh. Must be the captain and his wife. So we're in the captain quarters now? Safe. Of course there's no way we're gonna be able to open that. Looks like it needs a key. Yeah, the question is, can we find the key? And I'm not betting on it. Unless the game wants to be nice to me. Hey, game, you want to tell me where the key is? Metals? Ah! Oh, hello. Thank you, game. Do you open the safe? Unless, of course, I had opened this safe by default. Conrad, it's me. Uh, sort of pull yourself together. Reassuring. It's Fliss. It's okay. Oh, 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 it's me. It's Fliss. It's okay. Oh, there's the narrator. And that's like the best picture we've ever seen of him. 
No, don't run. Don't run. I want to get the key. I want to check the safe. Don't run. Oh, no. All that work I did to get the key and... Oh, that stinks so bad. I was thinking maybe we should chase after him because it may cost us our lives and I'm glad I hit those QTEs. Oh, I wanted to know it was in the safe. Darn it. Oh, well. Triangle? Circle? It's me. It's Bliss. Unfortunately, there's no way to go back unless we replay this section again. Maybe after we beat the game, we can, like, replay that section just to see what's in the safe. Just because. You know, that's gonna nag at me. Square? Maybe it's not a good idea with chasing him right now. Like, maybe we should purposely mess these QTEs up. idea what's gonna happen here you're gonna get killed you gotta stop oh it's a good thing I'm here those QTs that could have hit me and I could have felt in my death triangle struggle Come on, Carl, I know me. We were making out earlier. Frantic, reassuring, reassuring. Hey, 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 it's okay, it's me. Connie, it's Bliss. Conrad? Why are you here in the rain? Remember, that rain helps clear your head. What are you doing up here? Ooh! God damn, you scared the hell out of me. Where did you get Conrad killed? I, uh... Woohoo! Ooh. Wow, that was intense. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Yep. We got a better way. Aww. Yeah, that was tense because I had no idea what was going on. Like, I didn't know if I should chase him or if I shouldn't chase him. Um, it was just one of those things where... Fuck. That's what I love about this game is that the QTEs aren't always a good thing to do. Sometimes it's good to fail the QTEs. Stupid stairs. Square. Circle. Whew. 
I sense you. That's Olsen. Uh, why don't you jump? Um, jump. Shit. Square. X. Thank God. Oh. 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 We gotta get somewhere safe. So somehow we still have all five members alive. Actually, all eight members alive, if I'm not mistaken. Are we good here? I don't know how we're doing that, to be honest. We're good, I think. I mean, I thought for sure we had killed Julie earlier, and yet she came back from the dead. Well, not literally back from the dead, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Hello, Curator. Are you proud of me? Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Mm, no, I, I think I'm quite good, actually. Um, uh, I'm confident. I don't, I don't want spoilers. No hint. Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Yeah, we'll be fine. Maybe. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. Yep, we will. We will speak again. Alex, weather deck, 3.32 a.m. June 21st. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? See, we're all on the, the, the upper deck I now. Saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy and like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just like up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Oh, we're Alex now. Very cool. Uh, supportive? Dismi supportive, definitely. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Fearful? Baffled. Let's go with baffled. That seems to be the most common, uh, smart thing to say. That gold should be around you, right? Anybody catch a glimpse of it? If there was gold here, we would have seen it by now. Okay. That still doesn't explain anything. Probing. Unsettled. 
probing. What do you think actually happened on this ship? I haven't got a clue. The ship is bound for San Francisco, but it hailed from a water purification plant in China. Apparently that's where it picked up the Manchurian gold. Looked like the newspaper was from 1947. The ship got caught up in some kind of bad storm. There was a whole note about it in the engineer's logbook. Oh, I like how all the clues are coming together. Uh, suspicious. There's some unnatural shit going on here. It is unsuper freaking natural. Everything about this place is wrong. Um, unsettled. Anyone figure out what happened to all the sailors? Did they catch a rescue boat or something? Good God, everything about this ship just screams tomb. So what's with the bodies? They come with the ship? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Liz! Oh! Excellent, we're finally not a guy for this portion. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I don't think I need to pick these things up. Well, I'll pick them up, um, just to reveal them. I know it's kind of crazy, but I wonder if the plane from the dive could have been shot down by this ship. If we have, like, a log that we need to read. You know, we've seen this stuff before. So much better being above deck than below deck, that's for sure. This is uh, the light lifeboat that's full of holes. Well, yeah. these are ruined. Can't use them. Nope, that's kind of useless. How you doing, Julia? How's your head? I really hope she doesn't die to the bends because I didn't have any control over that. Or at least I don't think I had any control over that. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Come on now. Here's the gas mask instructions. Telling you, hey, you say gas masking is a good idea. Let's go ahead and walk this way and climb on up. It's a shame I can't talk to the people though. Hey! Over here, help me out. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Let's go. Up we go. Mm -hmm. I'll pull you up. <laughs> This part always creeped me out when you walk by here and the camera just this changed like this. Before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. So creepy. Hey, come here. Here's a way true. Ugh. 
You know what's weird is something I found out the other day is I didn't get the trophy for killing all the people on the ship. Uh, because apparently uh, Julia dying on the bends is considered after the game. And you're supposed to kill them all in the game. But I still think the failure playthrough was a complete success for what I want to do. So I'm happy with it. Logbook. No, I'm not much of a trophy guy. I mean, I like trophies. They're the cool, but... Entry. According to this, they ran into one hell of a storm. I'm cool with trophies and all. I like getting trophies, but... I'm not going to go back and just play through a game just to get a trophy when I felt like I should have gotten the trophy, you know? Have we ever noticed there was a door here? Don't think I've ever seen that door. Because I've always gone to the left here and around. And we know this door is shut as well. It's kind of pointless though, it would just leave you, lead you back out to where you've already been. So what's the point? You know, I really would like to save Junior if I can. I don't know how. I mean, we haven't done it. Um, but I really would like to try to save him. To save everyone if we can. No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. Although I don't think we can save Um I don't think we can save the big guy. Because I think he dies automatically due to fright. I've already read this before, but let's go ahead and pick it up. Oh, no, mine's blank. Blown off course, bad cloud cover, but they couldn't get a read on their bearings. Search called off, huh. It's kind of strange why that would be in here, though. And there's our radio. Oh. Hey, here. I miss the, uh, the clue in the background. Because I went too far. No freaking way. I still can't believe I missed this that key. This thing actually still works? Alright. There goes nothing. I'm like so mad about that. Uh, good old shortwave radio. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Come in, please! Do you read us? Over. Oh, oh, uh, okay. At least there's someone listening. Uh, the signal's in and out, though. Uh, Does it remain calm? Instructive? You're a captain. If you can hear me, we're on board an abandoned freighter. 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Over. Come on here, Captain. Keep calm. Respectful. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, we're on a large freighter. It's old, abandoned. Over. Come in, over. Come in, come in, please, anyone. Come in, over. I got Julie in the background. She's freaking out. And then the power goes out. Sure, let's Yo, just dump down a creepy hole. That's a good idea, Conrad. Hey, look at this. This has got to lead somewhere. Can we not? Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. <laughs> we need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. I like the brothers. So what do you think? So good. If you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? 
Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Uh, sarcastic or assertive? I don't like either one of these choices. So I'm gonna say nothing. Then that's that. I'm going. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. So that's something that I talked about before, um, with Emily of Until Dawn. <laughs> Emily was just such a jerk for like the first half of the game that you didn't like her. And because you didn't like her, you didn't care what happened to her. But the characters in this game, I really feel like I care about all five of these characters and I want to see them all succeed. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.